yo, what's poppin' team? No space. It's your boy Brad, back at it again with another video, and today, guys, I am so sick. I can see it. My head hurt, my nose running like shit. Yeah. I'm sneezing like a bitch, man. I'm tired of being mother... Actually, not just today. I was sick yesterday. I was even sick last weekend. I was even sick last weekend. You can probably hear it in my voice, guys, like... My nose is all congested, but at the same time, like, a minute later, it's really runny, so... I don't know what's going on with me, but we'll just kick through the day. I'm an adult. Guys, last week I missed out on a video, and I'm so sorry for that. It's actually really hard to come up with content, even just on a weekly basis. The point of making these videos is at least to get something out there for you guys to watch. So when I get in these times like this where I'm not really sure what to do, one of the best things that you can do, guys, is avoid taking that nap. I was literally just laying down, and I was like, no, 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 no. What you have to do instead, guys, is you have to be active. So what I'm going to do is I will show you guys what I do when I do a workout at home. There are two reasons why I do a workout at home. The first is that my gym Fit Body isn't open on Saturdays after like 10 a.m. and right now it's 2.30 p.m. so it's too late to go to Fit Body. and secondly even if I did you know the looks that you get when you go to a gym when you're sick? Like, no, 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 no. No, God, please, no, 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 no! I do not want to go to the gym when I am sick. It just ends up with other people being sick. It just makes you look weird when you have to go and blow your nose. So let's get started with this home workout, guys. You literally need nothing. Like, you could just be wearing the clothes you're wearing, but I am going to put on a pair of shorts. I am going to put on a pair of running shoes. And I am going to grab a yoga mat and a couple weights, and I will show you guys what to do. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh did you want to? Sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay, so we are just going to start right here in the closet. I have a yoga mat right here, guys. So we are going to start with this, and we'll just toss that on the floor. I have a pair of running shoes, so we will use these. And then, like I said, just grab a pair of, um, you know, like shorts or anything. Whatever you guys like to work out in. I just like grabbing a, uh, a shirt. So we'll just get this stuff set up. And then I will get back to you guys in just uno momento. One minute. Okay, so that's it, guys. I have my running shoes on. We have the mat laid out. Like I said, just a um, couple weights. These are just 20 pounders. So I have two sets of those. And um, this is what is probably the most important step is here on my computer. What I have is a 45 second interval timer with a 10 second rest in between. Um, so we will be doing each exercise for 45 seconds. And then we have 10 seconds to move on to the next exercise, which we will do again for 45 seconds. This workout is about 20 to 25 minutes approximately. But obviously with the, with the power of editing, you guys can already see along that line, it's only a few minutes. And then secondly, what I find most important when working out guys is pulling up that iTunes and playing your favorite songs. And uh, the Bluetooth speaker is your best friend. So without further ado, I will set you guys up on a tripod and speak to you and then do the exercise and show you how it works. <sighs> well, based on this angle, I figure it's probably best just to sit down and talk with you guys. So the first two exercises that we will be doing are push-ups and bent over rows. So push-up guys, it's really, really simple. Everyone's done a push-up before. Just keep a straight back, arms are shoulder width apart and just down. And up. If this is too hard, guys, you can go on your knees. And then the second exercise that we will be doing in this row, like I said, is bent over rows. So this one will require some weights. If you don't want weights, but you want to use the form, you can always just use like a broomstick. I'll show you what to do here. So we're gonna take these two, sorry, so we're gonna take these two weights. You bend over, I might be off frame here, and you row up and down, just like this. Okay, it's really simple stuff, so I will get to it before we move on to the next exercise. Um, so stay tuned.
So that was the first round. I'm going to do the second round. You guys don't need to see it because it's just the same thing. And then I will catch up with you guys in two seconds on what we do next. Okay, so just finished the second round of that exercise. The next two exercises that we do are, um, I think they're called up, uplift rows or up rows or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, and then the second exercise is a squat and press. I'm just gonna move you guys to a different location so you can get a better angle of these two exercises. Okay guys, so upright rows, uh, it's kind of just like lifting your elbows up like this. I find that the weight I have is probably a bit too much for me. So what you can do and what I think I'm going to do is maybe just use one weight. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna use one weight. So that's that. The second exercise is a squat and press. So you put the shoulders up. So you put the weights up on your shoulders. Go down for a squat, come back up, and as you come up, press the weights to the sky. I know it's out of frame, but I think you guys understand what I mean. So we are going to get started with that right meow. stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended. Oh, that was not easy, guys. But like last time, I will do the second round on my own, and I will catch up on you. I can barely speak. I'll catch up with you guys when we're moving on to the third uh, station, let's call it. Okay, so now that those two exercises are out of the way, guys, we can move on to our next stage. Here we are going to do, you know, simple bicep curls. I'm sure I don't have to explain that to you guys. And then we are going to do close grip push-ups, which are also sometimes known as diamond push-ups. So it's very similar to a normal push-up, except you're going to grab your hands, pull them together, more in a diamond shape. Fingers don't necessarily have to be touching. Um, they're also called close grip push-ups, so as long as your hands are kind of close. Um, a problem that a lot of people say is like go down and kiss your hands. It's not necessarily true. Your hands should actually come somewhere closer to your chest. And as always, it's 45 seconds, 45 seconds, and then do it a second time. Okay, so that was the first session of that. And seriously guys, it's not an easy workout. So I'm going to do that uh, second time around. And as always, I'll catch you guys on to the next stage, which, let me just check here. The next stage, which is the last stage. Okay guys, so I just finished that. And we are going to move on to our final stage. I really hope that you guys do this at home. Like it actually is, it is an intense workout and it really doesn't take much. The last exercise takes no weights at all. Now we're going to focus on our core because we have our heart rate going. So the first exercise that we're doing are mountain climbers. If you guys haven't done mountain climbers before, you kind of get in a plank position, like a push up before you go down. And you drive your knees one at a time up to your chest, trying to propel that foot forward. I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. So it's something like that. Guys, I'm not like a fitness trainer or anything, so don't take my form as like always the right way to do it. I make mistakes, that even could have been a mistake there. Second exercise in this is um, toe touches. So. You lay on your back with your feet in the air and you use your core, your abs, to crunch and touch your toes. Don't bring like your chin to your to your legs up in the air. Bring it up to the sky. I'll show you what I mean. I'll 
also if you guys are like me and you can't fully touch your toes it's not a big deal but let's get started with the exercise let's go for me to finish this. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. And, sorry, it's hard to catch my breath. And I will catch up with you guys as soon as I'm done this last exercise. Okay guys, so that is actually going to be the end of the workout. Like I said, all it takes is really a pair of running shoes and some weights if that's what you want. You can probably do most of this stuff without weights. Um, there's alternatives to everything that we did today. But basically guys, I don't think I'm going to vlog anything else today. The point of today's vlog was to basically say that if you have nothing to do, there is always some alternative. I wasn't even sure if I was going to film today, but this is what keeps the things going. If you don't do it, no one else will. Let's hear it from Shy himself. Just do it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Shy. Basically, get off your ass. Uh, even if you're sick, guys, I'm sick and I still got up to something. So if you really do appreciate the content that I put out, please go down and smash the like button for today's video. If you want to see what's coming up in the future, please subscribe. And basically, as always guys, thank you for watching. So take it easy. Peace. Peace.